In order to calculate the optimal tube length, this calculation should be followed. Take the known dummy tube length that was used, either 15 or 20 millimeters, deduct the number of rings visible in the nose, note that the dummy tube length minus the number of rings visible in the nose equals the length of the tissue track. Then always add back four. Why? This will be four millimeters longer than the tissue track to account for a necessary two millimeter distance from the lateral nasal wall to the internal silicone flange and the two millimeter fixed distance from the silicone flange to the tip of the tube. For example, assume we used the 20 millimeter length dummy tube and we can see three rings visible in the nose. Subtract the three rings, three, from 20, the length of the tube, and add back four. 20 minus three equals 17, plus four equals 21. The patient will require a 21 millimeter stop loss Jones tube. The consequence of not following the necessary formula to calculate the appropriate length will position the internal flange either too close to the lateral nasal wall or the tip of the tube too close to the septum.